who has a long awaited vaccine for COVID-19 is being administered to healthcare workers and the most vulnerable. Many myths are circulating, encouraging people not to take the vaccines. News 4 Tucson's Chorus Nylander spoke with an infectious disease expert about the facts behind the vaccine. It's tonight's investigation. Many medical professionals are calling the speed at which these vaccines were produced a miracle of modern medicine. Others say that speed must mean it was rushed and unsafe. Just one of several myths shadowing this vaccine. 2020 will come to an end with two COVID-19 vaccines approved by the FDA, and the year will end with even more myths surrounding them. Steve Dudley, director of the Arizona Drug and Poison Information Center, says his office is receiving nonstop phone calls about the vaccine. I mean, literally hundreds a day. Some callers want to know when they can get the vaccine. Others are worried the vaccine is unsafe. There's a group that is legitimately concerned uh, due to the lack of complete, what we would call it, uh, data that we typically get presented with a new drug or vaccine hits the market. And there are some questions that we just don't have answers to as of yet. And then there's another group that, uh, again, that's hearing all of the misinformation and lies that's being spread across the internet. Misinformation like the vaccine will give you COVID-19 or will alter your DNA. There have been tens of thousands of people in the studies who've received the, the vaccine that's gone through the clinical trials. We know that the safety profile is very good. Again, we expect those normal things, pain at the injection site, some discomfort. Another myth is the vaccine will cause Bell palsy, a form of paralysis in the face. That did happen to a few people in the test studies, but Dudley says the concern lacks context. You know, out of the eight, over 18,000 patients in the Pfizer vaccine, four patients got that reported. One of them already had Bell's palsy before they got the vaccine. And so you look at the background array, like how many Americans just have that, it's the same exact percentage. He believes the people who should be wary of taking the vaccine are anyone with known allergies to the contents of the vaccine or perhaps pregnant women. So there is a lack of data. We do have a little bit that would suggest that pregnant women should be able to get the vaccine and it doesn't affect fertility, but that's gonna be another little safety monitoring parameters that we're gonna to have to continue to follow uh, closely. The only way out is through vaccination at this point. Dr. Shannon Thorne is a physician with the Tucson Infectious Disease Consultants. He worries misinformation surrounding the vaccines could stop many people from taking it. We've been waiting for months and months for this to happen and it's almost a miracle the process that's gotten us to this point. There are doctors though who disagree. Dr. Jane Orion is no stranger to controversy. She's the executive director of the Tucson-based Association of American Physicians and Surgeons. They called a lot of bad names. I even got my picture in the New York Times because Chuck Schumer attacked me for being anti-vax, which is not true. She doesn't consider herself anti-vax. As far as the COVID-19 vaccine though, she says it should be a decision one makes with their family doctor but believes there's legitimate reasons to not take the vaccine. Well, you know, there is concern that there, there will be side effects. Will we find out about them? Will they be all coincidental or will some of them be related to the vaccine? Or maybe we should wait a while and see what happens. I think in every case, you need to look at the individual patient. What is the risk? of the condition and what is the risk of the treatment. But Steve Dudley and Dr. Thorne say they are confident the vaccine is safe and the only option available right now to try and repair the damage of 2020. The sooner we all get on board with the vaccine, the sooner we get back to normal life. Right now, the vaccine is only available to healthcare workers and the most vulnerable, but Steve Dudley and Dr. Thorne say they hope to see the vaccine available to everyone soon. Investigating for you, of course, Nylander, News 4 Tucson.